Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, um, whatever time of day this is reaching you, hope all is well. Uh, look, I'm up at the top now, I'm not at the bottom of the screen. Uh, architecture 530, Environmental Systems 1, um, this is uh, Lecture five, log scale and decibel. So we need to have this objective number. We need a way that we can describe what this level is. And we do that through the decibel, um, which is a logarithmic scale. So let's, let's explore what we have. Um, we're gonna go over decibel scale, um, revisit how we explain sound now that we we understand what this decibel and this scale is doing. Um, dynamic range, look at power and pressure, where we'd use those, and then we're gonna add some dB levels together. So we left off with sound loudness, sound levels. Um, loudness is perception. Level is measurement, both describing amplitude. Um, when we're describing level, um, we're using a logarithmic scale, base 10 in this case. Um, it is the power to which 10 is raised. So 10 to the 1 is 10, 10 to the 2 is 100, 10 to the 3 is 1,000, 10 to the 0 0.3 is 2. Oops, I kicked over. Um, so this is just more slides, what I just read too fast. Um, so, t so we're doing, um, exponential logarithmic. It's not a linear, linear scale on there. And this is why, um, 20 dB to 40 dB is not twice as much energy in that measurement in that level. 10 to the two, a hundred. 10 to 3,000, you're adding, you're adding um, zeros to the back of it because we're doing log base 10 on this. So the point 0.3, we're going down, um, is 2. So we've got a logarithmic scale. We're, we're leaning towards, we're hinting at now. We've got a lot of power. We've got a lot of um, acoustic energy. We've got a lot of level. Our ears are sensitive to from frequency wise from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So we're dealing with a lot of information that we do got to do an analysis of. Um, so even if we were just talking regular um, levels, regular numbers that we understand, if we were looking at every frequency, we would still be looking at 20,000 levels. Well, actually, 19,980 levels because we're not we're going to throw out 0 to 20 and we're only going to go up to 20k because that's what we're sensitive to um, but then we have power in watts and that's our finite point that's our acoustical um, induction we've got intensity that's the power radiating on a sphere and then we have the pressure um, that's the uh, change and pressure due to the wave at that point so where our ear is at and then we have two ears so we hear binaurally and then we can focus on the sound um, we use sound pressure because it's easier to measure um, usually we, we call this SPL but we will use power in mechanical equipment so we have sound power we have sound pressure already defined in watts and Pascals, respectively. Um, why do we use decibels? And the reason we use decibels is because the ear has a gigantic dynamic range. And so um, in Bell Laboratories, Alexander Graham Bell, decibel, um, was needing a unit of measurement to measure the signal of the transmission lines the bell came up um, and in acoustics one tenth of a bell is a decibel so that's the unit that's the ratio 
Um, that's the description um, that we're, we're, we're talking about. Careful about using units. I'll show why here in a second. So in terms of dynamic range, and this is going to the sensation of a hearing at zero dB, um, that's in terms of sound power, that's 10 to the 14th giant number, right? Um, dynamic range in terms of sound pressure or in Pascal's is 10 to the 7th. So now imagine if we've got to have uh, orders of magnitude of 10 to the 14th or 10 to the 7th, and we've got to look at 20,000 of these data plots um, to describe a space. Right? It's way too much information. We've got to have another way to describe that. So the decibel is a measurement system. It's not a unit. It's a measurement system that compresses this dynamic range and correlates to the ear. It's logarithmic. Um, and it corresponds to the response of the ear. And this goes back to expressing that 0 dB at 3K is not some crazy number 10 to the 14th um, if we're looking at power or 10 to the 7th if we're looking at pressure. And then we need um, 100 times that at 40 dB increase at 100 hertz to have the same sensation. Um, the numbers would just be too great. So that's where we're going. We, we're saying that the zero is our baseline at three kilohertz, and then at 100 hertz to get the same sensation to make the room flat, to make the headphones flat, to make the sound flat, we, we need to have um, an additional 40 dB of energy at 100 hertz in the room. So the term level is used for sound power, sound pressure. Sometimes on some cut sheets you'll see intensity. The sound power level, or LW, or PWL, um, that's usually given when you're measuring a piece of mechanical equipment or electrical equipment, and it's the sound power level of that entire unit as it's giving off. And this will come into play when we're looking at isolation and we're looking at background noise that we've got to consider what the room does. Um, how reverberant the room is and how much energy that takes down for that entire unit um, outputting power into the space and how that affects our background noise. We have sound pressure level, LP or SPL, pro uh, more familiar. Um, the dB, I incorrectly earlier um, noted that it was unit. It is a unitless quantity, and it's a ratio of two powers or pressures. And in the case that we're using for sound pressure level, it's 20 micropascals. Um, so at 20 micropascals of pressure, um, that's where our threshold of hearing is. You just got to be mindful of when you're pulling data, you're pulling cut sheets, and you're running your calculations if you're working in 520 or you're doing an analysis on a space, that the test data that you're pulling, that the reference is 20 micropascals. Uh, I don't know if this is new to a lot of you, but not everyone is on the up and up and honest, and sometimes they'll change what that measurement is to make their product look better. So now we're, we're in the realm of the DB where we're, we've defined earlier that 60 d d dB is speech. Um, so if we have two people talking at 60 dB, that is not equal 120 because it's logarithmic. Um, there's a, a chart to the right for um, power increases of sources of the same level, and then power increases down at the bottom right of sources of different levels, depending how they vary. So if you have a source that is 10 dB outside, greater than 10 dB outside of the of another source, they don't add together on there. So in this example, if two people are talking, um, one talking to another, or one table is talking at 60 dB and the other table is talking at 60 dB, the level in that space is not 120 dB, it's 63 dB. Um, you can use engineering toolbox if you just want to put in um, uh, various number of different sources uh, on the internet works good too. 
Um, if you have same level, you can use total DB um, and have your LS, so that's your your uh, base level, and then your number of sources. And then different levels, total DB is you're doing 10 log, and then you're um, doing a reference of your number of sources over your reference, and that will give you... Um, the same thing that's in the charts. I use the charts most of the time or I have a spreadsheet that does it or I quickly look it up on the internet. This is not something that um, you're required to memorize or test, but you need to be aware of how to add sources. You should know that if the sources are the same, it's 3 dB. If you have 4, it's 6 dB. You should know those round numbers. If you have 10 sources, it's 10 dB. Um, and then if you're outside... Uh, if you have two sources, one at 49 and the other at 60, that 49 source is not going to add to that 60 dB. So here here it is blown up for number of sources. Two sources is three. You should know that. It uh, makes it easier. If you have four sources, it's six, which kind of makes sense. So the thing about if you have four sources that are 60, you add two of those together, you get 63. You add another two together, you get 63. Now you have two sources that are 63. Um, add, you get another 3 dB, so that's 6. Makes sense. So here, here's the scenario of um, adding multiple sources that are the same. Um, two sources is 3. Three sources, 4.8. Four sources, 6. Five sources, seven. So it's pretty interesting as you start adding more of the same sources. Um, they don't. They uh, the point of adding um, to the overall level gets less and less. So adding sixty dB, um, sixty and sixty is three. Sixty, sixty, sixty. Um, 64.8 because we're adding 40 or 4.8 to 6 multiple sources um, if we're at 4 we're at 6 um, you can do this the other way it's similar to what I did before to get to, to uh, 66 so if you um, just break it down if you just remember that two sources is 3 um, then you're good to go because you can break that down. 16, 60, 63, 16, 60, 63, and then 63 and 63, 66. Um, what happens now um, when we get to sources, if we try to do that again, then we don't know that five sources is seven, right? We, f we forget this, this portion right here. We don't know that this is seven over here. Um, could we add the 63 and 63 to get um, 66, but what is 66 plus 60? What's next? So now there's another chart, um, and if you remember, if you can commit, commit to memory that if they're the same source, which we were just at, um, they add 3 dB, um, and at 5, 6, and 7, um, you're only adding 1 dB, um, which is negligible at that point. Um, we can add, add those together. So we've got 60 and 60 um, equals 63. Oops. Um, 16, 61, 63.5, 16, 62, 64, 16, 66, 67. We're just adding one. So if we look back at our example, we got 66 and 60. By knocking this down, we're at 67. And that's how you add sources. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, become familiar with that. Really know that adding two sources um, at the same level um, gives you uh, gives you a three dB increase on there, and that rule of thumb can help you um, real closely get to what your sources, what your source level in a room is. This is where uh, diffusers are usually missed um, that they pick quiet diffusers but they forget they have eight of them in the room and now that adds to the background noise of the source so if you know if you have two sources 
that are the same, you add three. And then once you get to five, you're only adding one. And then outside of 10, remember there's a difference of 10. Um, then there, or more than 10, excuse me. If there's a difference of more than 10, they're not adding um, to the source. So same sources, difference is zero, you add three. Five, six, and seven, you add one. And then once you're after 10, you're more than 10, you don't add anything. And then you can fill in um, the rest. All right. Thank you and have a great day.